Rest my Yo, what it do, YouTube? It's the boy Burst Boy back with another video, and you know, today we on the 2K20 demo, as you can see. I already made two builds, you know, this slasher kind of ass, but the three level score, OP, bro. Shooting guard 6'7, 212 pounds. I think his wingspan is like an 80, you know, his. Max out three will be at 80. His max out dropping dunk would be like a, I think a, a 80 or like a 78 or something like that. But this is probably the best all around build that you could do for a shooting guard. And but we're not here to talk about this build just yet. You feel like that might be another video. But today I'm gonna be going over the badges with you guys. So let me go ahead and skip to that part real quick and uh, yeah, let's get into the video. Uh, you dig? Okay, here we are. We're here to look at the badges. Now, as you see, they have the badges separated into four categories. You have the finishing badges, the shooting badges, the playmaking, and defensive slash rebounding. They could have made a separate for rebounding, you know, but, you know, it's, it's whatever. But, you know, right now, we're just going to go through the badges, and I'm going to tell you which ones I think are the best badges to have and which ones you don't really need. I haven't even looked at all of them yet, so we're just going to be reading them in the siding right here right now you feel me so um first badge acrobat now if you drive a lot and you're i'm gonna say point guard through small forward this would be a good one to have um everybody knows acrobat though so if you're a point guard through small forward you really want that badge now the new badges back down punisher Allows player to have more success than normal when backing down a defender in the paint. Now, I would say this is more for power forwards and centers, but you can also have it if you're a small forward. Um, me personally, I like to do drop steps and post fades. So this is this would actually be a nice badge to have. Uh, so yeah, if you can get this badge, you might want to get it, especially if you're in the park. Because if you get the mismatch, then there you go. Consistent finisher. Penalties for mistimed layups are reduced, allowing players to make layups more consistently. Now, what this is telling me is that if you, like, mistime a layup, like, if it's late or early, um, it won't really affect it that much having this badge. You know, it'll still be like you... Uh, timed it correctly I'm not gonna say a green release or whatever but uh yeah so this will help you finish in the paint with um, a release that isn't as good as you normally would have contact finisher slashers who play below the rim finish contact labels more successfully while dunkers are able to pull off more contact dunks. so this to me is just relentless finisher I guess they just named a different contact finisher but I swear Relentless finisher is still in this, so I don't know. We'll read them together and see what the difference is. But to me, this is just relentless finisher, which is one of the most important badges if you're finishing at the rim. So you might want to get that. Cross key score boosts the ability to make running hooks, layups, or close range pull ups while driving across the paint. Now, in my personal opinion, I don't pull up when I'm in the paint or at least I don't try to unless you're like on a fast break and you try to do a dunk and then you pull up on accident so in my opinion I don't do hooks or, layup, or layups that much e either so I just mainly go for a dunk so this to me this badge to me really isn't that important so we can go ahead and scratch this one off the list cross key score I don't know how I feel about it you know if I have to get it you know I, I will but you know, for now, it just doesn't seem that important to me. Now, moving on. Deep hooks. Post hooks taken far from the best receive less of a distance penalty than normal. I don't take hook shots. Most people don't take hook shots. Unless you're a big man or is Unless you're a big man, you don't really take hook shots. And hook shots outside of the paint are pretty much pointless. So this badge to me does... I, I don't need it. I really don't. I wouldn't want it. 
The drop stepper allows for more success when attempting post drop steps and hop steps in addition to protecting the ball better while performing these moves in the post. This badge, you know, the style that I play, I would like to have this badge because I do a lot of drop steps in the paint, you know, because it it's easier to like free you up for uh for more space while you're in the paint. So in my opinion, this is a good badge to have, especially if you're like me. Now, fancy footwork. Players get past defenders more efficiently when performing Euro, Cradle, Hop Step, Spin, and Half Spin gathers. Now, I don't know how much of a of an effect this badge will have, but this year I'm gonna do a lot more spins when I'm in the paint because you know I didn't really do that that much last year. Or I do do a lot of hop steps, and I'm gonna start doing euros. Haven't really mastered cradles or half spins yet, but this might be a good badge to have in case you like. Well, all these are pretty much good badges to have if you if you're driving to the paint. But you know, it all depends on how you play the game. Some badges you might not need or you'll never use, and some badges you might use all the time. So fancy footwork, I'm gonna get that badge. You know, it, it sounds helpful. Might need it. Fast break finisher. Basically, one man fast break. Gives an additional boost to a player's. Oh, my fault, my fault. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Takeover meter when successfully dunking on a fast break. So, I don't know if this is for all takeovers, but I'm guessing it's just for driving and finishing. So, basically. Um. Basically, one man fast break, but it's only for dunk, so I'm guessing not on layups either. Uh, Giant Slayer boosts the shot percentage of a layup attempt when mismatched against a taller defender and reduces the possibility of getting blocked. So this, I'm guessing that this just cancels out like the size difference, which I think takes away from the game. But it is a good badge to have. Reading this, you know what I'm saying. So maybe. The badges that the the other what do they call I don't even know the other categories have will cancel out. So we'll see. Lob City Finisher, we all know what Lob City Finisher is. It's nice to have if you catch lobs and stuff, so yeah. Pick and roller. We already know what that is, you know. I don't even know what it does to be honest with you. When rolling off the pick and roll, a shoot boost is applied if the layup or dunking tank comes within the okay, okay, so uh, it's basically dimer for pick and roll. Pro touch. Now, the build that I just made has pro touch. Trust me, bro. You want this badge. It gives an extra shot boost for having slightly early, slightly late, or excellent shot timing on layups. So, bro, if you, let's say there's some layups, you know, some releases that are, that might be late, might be early. Sometimes you miss them, sometimes you make them. This badge will help you make them. You know what I'm saying? So that gives you a higher percentage of making missed time layups. Which is basically the other one that we saw. And I don't re even remember the name. It's too many badges, bro. Put back boss. Boost the shot attributes of a player that attempts a put back layup or dunk right after getting an offensive rebound. This is basically put back king. So, yeah. Lennon, here's really improves the player's ability to take a lot of contact. By okay, I don't even remember what the other one said. Reducing the energy loss when attacking the rim for contact shots. Let's see, relentless finisher and consistent finisher. No contact finisher. Slashers who play below the rim finish contact leads more successfully. What? They're basically the same batch, in my opinion. You can tell me if I'm reading that wrong. I'm just, as I'm reading it, they sound the same. So, yeah. Showtime gives an additional boost to player's takeover meter and his slash her teammates. Oh, okay, okay. When successfully completing an and one or flashy dunk. So, this is basically like a momentum booster for your team. It sounds like a great badge to have in the clutch. So, you're gonna need that. Slithery finisher increases the player's ability to slide through traffic and avoid contact during gathers and finishes at the rim. This sounds like acrobat, but a little more complex. So yeah, I feel like 
most of these badges are just more detailed versions of other badges that we've already had so yeah now last one for finishing is teardropper we already know what that is it improves the player's ability to knock down floaters and runners um most people do floaters and runners without even knowing so they think teardropper is pointless but yeah when i yeah i don't even know because last year i i was getting teardropper and i wasn't even trying to it was just like I didn't even know I was doing floaters or runners, you feel me? I don't even know what a runner is, you feel me?